Welcome to the call here on the Biotech Blue Phone. Uh, they're still in the opening session, not getting to the questions uh, just yet. It was a pretty strong quarter for Amgen in the second quarter, a beat on both the top and bottom lines, and they raised their guidance. Uh, let's take a quick look at what the analysts are saying. We've got a couple comments here. Uh, first from J.P. Morgan's Corey Kazimov calling it a solid beat and raise uh, for the quarter. That really echoed by a few other analysts. Michael Yee at Jeffries calling it classic Amgen, saying they do this better than anyone. Uh, Chris Raymond over at Piper saying, quote, like clockwork, Amgen just finds a way. Uh, Baird's Brian Scorney also telling me that other biotechs, he says, should take notes, meaning uh, other biotechs that swing back and forth between 52-week highs and lows on results should figure out how to be just as slow and steady uh, as Amgen. Uh, there was some news also in executives at Amgen. Uh, we've learned that their uh, head of R&D, Sean Harper, is going to retire, as uh, as well as their head of commercial, Tony Hooper. Um, Sean Harper is, uh, is retiring... I think today he's being taken over, his his job is being taken over. And in September, uh, Hooper is moving on, being replaced by uh, uh, Murdo Gordon from Bristol Myers. Um, we'll also note that Amgen is the fourth big biotech to report earnings, rounding out a very solid quarter for all of these Amgen, Biogen, Celgene, and Gilead. Biogen, of course, getting hit because of the Alzheimer's data, but its quarter actually looked really good, something that Michael Yee from Jeffries noted for us. Mel, back over to you. Meg, thanks. Meg Terrell. Um, what do we do with biotech here, Guy? It's interesting. So we've been bullish Amgen, obviously. I, mean, I think it made an all-time high back at the beginning of this year, 201 or so. We're basically up against it now. That's, I guess, the good news. So this is the way I look at it. They beat the quarter. This is the second quarter they beat by 28 cents. They raised the lower end of guidance by 50. That's fine. But they only raised the upper end of guidance by basically that 28 cents. So take that for what it's worth. Valuation is fair. They're buying back stock. But you've seen tremendous moves to the upside in Amgen. And you've seen the exact same moves to the downside in the same amount of time. So I think we're sort of at the top end of the range. If you've been long the stock for the last couple of months, I think you absolutely have to take profits. Now, it's interesting you say that. Look at Vertex today. They put up a good print sold on the news. I wouldn't be surprised to see a sell on the new scenario tomorrow morning. It's going to be interesting to see how it reacts tomorrow. A lot of these big cap names had a big run up into earnings and then it's a sell on the news event. We'll see.